Soul is trading at a discount. Do you want more Soul? Well, I'm going to show you how you can pick some up and maybe with a little bit of leverage, do okay. This is your daily debrief for Solana. It is the 3rd of August. Jumping in, firstly, we can see Bitcoin's price has gone down significantly. And this is relevant to a post I'll show you shortly. But at yesterday, around 4 o'clock, it was 63,600. And then we dipped down to like just over 60K. And then we've come up very slightly. Bitcoin's down 10% almost in seven days. However, Solana has not held at all, down 20%, and ETH has down 9%. So we're all down. We can probably go and see some things that are down even more significantly. Like a couple of days ago, I said I'm just going to sell my whiff. At this stage, 35% down. Bam. Uh, and our precious dupe down as well. Why is Bitcoin dumping and why is crypto dumping? $61,000 are dumped below that causing over $260 million in long liquidations. So when you start to liquidate so aggressively, you do get like a cascading effect. It just drops quite suddenly and quite significantly. Wouldn't call that cascade yesterday and today and this morning, but still it was decent. We had some unemployment rate rising news, came out at 4.3%, which was higher than expected. And this is in the US economy, which leads still leads the world, saying this could be headed towards a recession, which caused a stock market crash along with crypto. I don't believe this in the slightest. So I believe in the 18.6 year cycle. It is a thesis and it would suggest that there would be a massive crash after 2026. Crypto will still be on its normal cycle, some high somewhere between like June and November next year, potentially. Uh, however, when it comes to real estate, real estate will have its peak sometime in 2026, most likely, and then we'll have the significant dump. And I do think that will be the most aggressive recession that anyone my age or younger would have ever experienced. Japanese yen strengthening. So the Bank of Japan is getting uh, more aggressive with their interest rate for the first time in 17 years. And there's also some World War Three fare, as well as the normal Mt. Gox and Genesis distribution. Now, same pump called this at 4.42 p.m. yesterday, a low in the markets. We went down a little bit lower, but you, you're not trying to spot the exact low. You're just trying to spot a, a point where you think this is now worthy of of putting attention in to see if it comes up. And remember, he could just be buying now or leveraging now to close at a position a little bit higher. So let's move on to Trader Coz because I am going to be putting on a soul long and I'll show you how to do it. I think we're at a region where if you close your eyes for three days, the prices are higher and it looks obvious in hindsight. The problem is in real time, these regions can be hard to bid. I'm long and scared. Now this is the trading pattern that he's referring to, the bull flag. Boop, boop, boop. The target is 111k, obviously not straight up vertical, but that is the target. So you may want to add more BTC at these levels or just dollar cost averaging if you like. He also has a sole update. This was last night. So starting to build a leverage long. This is close enough for me. Maybe he would like it to dip down here and then up he goes. So now let me show you how you can potentially put on a little bit of leverage. Now, nothing's financial advice. I'm just showing you this in case you haven't watched dedicated tutorials on it. And so you can see that I'm actually doing it myself. So go to jupe.ag, go ahead and connect your wallet. I'm just going to use a tutorial wallet for this. And we go to perps. And then from perps, we can long any of these three. So I'm going to go with a long with uh, nothing crazy. I'm going to pay in USDC. I'm going to put in, say, that's $200. And I'm just going to do a 3x of a long, long the sole. You can do whatever you want or do nothing. I'm just showing you how it's done. There is some sole to actually open the position. There is a borrow rate per hour that you leave it on. And we'll let this go through. And now I'm not going to worry about a stop loss but I will add a take profit. Now, ideally we'd be having some buttons here like 20%, 10%, we could just kind of click it. So I'm just gonna go like that, uh, maybe 170. I don't, have a, I don't have a target in mind, just if I cash them out, I'm okay with that. And this is only 3X, I, I would go higher, but I don't wanna necessarily promote higher leverage. That's one way that you can do it if you want. You can add a stop loss, of course. Adding a stop loss is a valid point, at a 3x, it's gonna be my liquidation price is $100, and I don't think it's gonna go down to 100. The other option you can do is Camino Finance. Go and connect your wallet here, and then we can just jump straight into multiply, and we can multiply whatever we want. Sorry, not multiply. Long and short, go with this. The borrow rate is absolutely crazy right now. Just a lot of demand for Seoul, I guess, but we'll do it anyway. Deposit, I'm gonna deposit some USDC, $200 again. The max leverage we can do here is 2.8. Uh, that seems a bit strange, but that's fine. Now we will start to be liquidated actually at 75%. Uh, so given this volatility, probably wanna make this a little bit safer, like just a 2X and we can't type it and we have to drag it. But there, there's a 2X. We set up the account, read through, confirm all this and approve. The first thing is a bit of Seoul and then we have to open the Seoul long have a 
major price impact warning for some reason, but I'm just going to wear that. Of course, if I was doing a decent amount of capital, I wouldn't wear that and I wouldn't want that to happen. This transaction may not go through because the simulation has failed, so we'll try it. If it doesn't go through, we'll do it again. Failure, open soul, estimating slippage, continue, yes. Just a lot of volatility right now in the price. Let's see if this goes through. Deposit succeeded, and this is what we've got right here. So if the price of soul goes up, say, 25%, then we're making 50%. Of course, we do have a borrow APY as well. The other thing that you can do is you can just go to dupe.ag, connect your wallet, connect it here, and then just go straight to limit or DCA. So we can go and take out USDC and we're going to sell like $100 and buy sell at a rate of like 142. Expiry, maybe, uh, well, we have to put hours or minutes. So I'm just going to change this to seven days. Seven days, place the limit order, approve it like that. Or we can click on DCA and we can just decide, you know what, I've got $200. I want to buy some soul. I want to buy it every 12 hours over 10 orders, something like that. Maybe we can even do even more orders. 20 orders, start DCA and approve. So that's some of the tools that you can use if you're not using them already. On to the next bit of news. So global liquidity M2 is at all time high. Typically when this happens, you also see asset prices coming back up or they go quite high actually. So this is one reason why I think we're still fine. Marty Party says that Kamala Harris's team, the Democratic Party politicians, will meet with the crypto industry leaders minus SPF. Uh, he tried to get in there last cycle. On Monday, the August 15th, so first step is, I guess, education. This is a source. I haven't looked into it, but ultimately, whoever's going to win, we want them to be pro-crypto. Benjamin says, with some indicators flashing recessionary signals, it means the Fed will begin to cut rates soon in order to try and minimize the damage and hope for a soft landing. The other thing is, the next president will inherit a mess. They definitely will inherit a mess. Trump also inherited a mess. And I'm not saying due to COVID or anything, but due to the fact that there is this mid-cycle slowdown per the 18.6 year cycle. So you can take out Trump's name and replace it with anybody. They still typically will inherit a mess. This next four year block is going to be messy. This will be very, very messy. It doesn't matter who's in power, in my opinion, they will ultimately fail at keeping the economy really, really strong. But their first initial push over the next year and a half, or two years, or something like that, is probably going to be just a money print to try and elevate and elevate and elevate. I mean, it's always possible that you can pay down a debt or start to pay down debt and bring things back into alignment. But I think that would take like, you know, three or four decades to start that kind of plan as opposed to one presidency term. So long story short, this is what I think is going to happen. BTC dominance will go up and then there will be some rate cuts and then the markets will go crazy again. A Bitcoin whale bought 11,368 BTC off Kraken in the dip. Big dog there. And Morgan Stanley is going to let 15,000 brokers recommend Bitcoin ETFs. So remember, all this stuff is making stuff grow. Now, Jupiter news, actual Solana news. So the supply reduction proposal is live with a key objective to provide certainty, alignment and transparency. But the major point with this one is 10 billion down to 7 billion. I made a video on it. It's on the Jupe channel. Well, it's for the Jupe channel, not on my personal channel. And it's just two minutes and 46 seconds of a TLDR. It'll be linked below. Go and watch it. Also, while you're here, you go and connect. Self layer. Go and connect your wallet. Vote.jupe.ag. You can vote for whatever you want. For me, it's a no-brainer at four. Sometimes I'm going to say do your own research and always do your own research. But this one, it's a no-brainer at four. Of course, we want to reduce the supply and improve transparency. So go and vote. Make sure you vote by this time. And then when you're here, also claim your active staking rewards. So you go to vote.jupe.ag forward slash active staking rewards. I want everyone watching the channel to make sure that they're doing this. So I've already claimed it in this tutorial wallet, right? And yes, we should have all votes done, but I'm busy and I missed it. I'm sorry. Go and claim these. If you do not claim these before the 6th of August, then you lose them. So check all your wallets that you have dupe in, that you are voting with and staking the dupe and make sure you go and claim it. Anything you claim here will be auto staked to your amount. Next bit of news, Camino season two has concluded. A huge amount of Camino will be distributed to Camino users mid-August, $13.5 million worth of distribution. And I think Camino is gonna do very, very well. I don't know like how well the token will do, but the dApp's gonna do very well. So normally you would assume token's gonna do well if the dApp does well, maybe get a little bit more Camino. Either way, the point here was if you had Camino and you staked it and then used Camino, you actually got a lot more points. So that was the alpha that I kept on ringing in early. I hope you did it. Camino stakers will always be first class citizens in the Camino system. In season two, Camino stakers received substantial boosts 
progressively increasing via their staking multiplier. Bonk Rewards, my favorite meme coin, is under new management, the T-Dog Foundation. Give them a follow. You can now lock bon on Bonk Rewards straight from X. Locking for 12 months gives a 3.2X multiplier. I have no idea if I've got any Bonk left in this wallet because I've just been using it. But you can just go straight in here with a blink. And by the way, to put on a blink, it's very simple. You just jump into the settings, security and privacy, Solana actions. This also works for backpack and phantom as well. And then you can lock it for 12 months. Most of mine will be locked for six months, but I am going to lock a small amount for 12 months. I have no idea if that's going to get you part of your dragon or anything like that. But if you're, you know, I would imagine there'd be some potential reward other than just the multiplier. One, there's a dragon, right? And two, this shows that you have a long-term conviction with Bonk. Yes, you could hedge it towards the end if it went so high, but I don't think people are going to do that necessarily. Are you ready to become a Bonk Olympian? I haven't been reminding you of this, but Bonk Bets, this will probably allow you to get an aspect of building your dragon as well. So you go and use that same wallet. Select the wallet, join, and you can bet by event or you can bet, um, make predictions on the top meddling countries for 2024. You've got 11 hours and 34 minutes from now. By the time this is edited, you probably have less than eight hours. Now, Tyler is my... One of my researchers and he's bidding some more bonk here just letting you know this has been working well for him just the simple strategy comes down bids holds it comes up you don't wait for this period by the way and you don't necessarily wait for this period you generally wait for somewhere near here and then you sell somewhere near here and you can do this just by using any tool like intent.trade you could do this deal with dupe.ag limit order buy here set here but also you can set up price like alerts like a price alert and deck screener, which I'll work out and put onto a tutorial. But this is what he's bidding, and then he'll sell it, and then bid and sell in this range. Thank God it's Friday. Super Team is here with 80k worth of listings, so get amongst it. Properly get amongst it. The other thing is, there's an airdrop alert for anyone that actually has won $1 or more with Earn via Send. The issue with this is the claim lasts for like 24 hours. So if you miss this, and this will come out after my daily debrief, and then, you know, I can tweet it out, of course. So make sure you follow me on Twitter and I will be more relevant and actually getting stuff out on Twitter. But if you miss it, you've only got 24 hours. So if you've done anything with Earn, get into this now. This this for me wasn't worth anything crazy like $20 and I've, I've earned a decent amount. Now, the thing is, at least for the next maybe few weeks until we've got new data, because they're only giving us 24 hours, the best thing is for everyone just to go and follow them and put on notifications because by the time I put it into a video, the first people that watch the video will be able to do it, and that's all. So uh, yesterday we had bonk rewards, couldn't get into a video. Today we had this. So now, because they're giving out airdrops, but it's a very limited time, and you just claim it via Streamflow, by the way. So I've already claimed mine, but it's very, very easy. Streamflow is a legitimate app. By the way, my rankings on Super Team Earn, I need to up these for sure. These are uh, overall rankings. I'm down here, number 10, and there are some people with a very decent win rate, of course. However, I do have the highest win rate for anyone that's got like over 20 submissions at 64%. So I'm doing well. People jump in and win some things as well. Next bit of news quickly, or is upgrading if you have any V1 tokens, you can go and upgrade them to V2. And as soon as this comes out, this is available until November 2nd. And then after that, I guess there's going to be no value of all V1, which is annoying that it's so short, but nevertheless, do that. And then when this comes out as V2 properly and we can mine it, I will do a decent tutorial and I think we should join it. One hour in and they've already passed a thousand ore upgrade to V2. I don't even know what the, the, um, the total, the total, total supply is of, of V1. But either way, I think this will be a fun experiment and it could do well. I'm going to give you some context as well. So Doge, Doge obviously did very well previous cycle, but you could have still been mining Doge in the previous, previous bear cycle and getting it for nothing and just mining it. Then there's other random tokens out there. There's quite a few of them and I won't list them all off. But sometimes it's worth just allocating some time to learning a new skill, whatever it costs. It's not going to cost too much for a server or to run it on your computer potentially. And maybe this has um, something that goes up, down, then bear market vibes. And then maybe it's, you know, worth quite a bit in the previous cycle. Either way, it's worth playing with it. And finally, 
five wallets that may belong to the same person sold $24 million worth of WIF seven hours ago. They bought this on November 30th and the cost was 5,000. So they made a massive return. If they sold at the highest price, they would have made 69 million, but I guess they got too greedy and then they decided to dump it all. So that's one of the reasons for WIF dumping. Now your actionables. The dupe supply reduction vote ends 4th of August, 3.15 p.m. UTC. Deadline to claim your dupes active staking rewards, August 6, 1 p.m. UTC. Claim your send airdrop. It ends 4.30 today. It's not going to be for all, just for people that have engaged with Super Team or Super Team Earn along those lines. And then also, please keep in mind that the real actionable there is just put notifications on for SendCoin. Take part in Infinex's path to Patreon, as covered yesterday. DCA some soul and bonk at these levels, not financial advice. Check on your loans and maintain a healthy loan-to-value ratio. If you did go and put on a, a bit of Jito Soul or Soul into Camino when it was 180 or 200, and you borrow some USTC, you may want to just go and just check them and make sure you're not being close to being liquidated. Airdrop actionables, same thing as before. Cloud and INF Meteor LP, could be keen. Cube Exchange, stake bonk with bonk rewards. Check out Noon's VSOL guide. And look into Superbase. I have seen like the pitch deck. It's probably going to be something that I am going to skip. Um, and just jump into your NFT communities. You should be able to find out. I'm not sure if I can put it on my screen and share it transparently. I like what Jake is doing. And I like what Steve is doing. I like what their team is doing. It will have product market fit for DGENs or people that want to see like semi-nude girls. And that's fine. Personally, I'm just, I want to be in front of the computer. I want to hustle. It doesn't have product market fit for me. Stake your Camino if you're using Camino Finance. That's all for today. Remember to touch grass tomorrow and catch the next video.